Hello guys, in the last video we explained everything about license settings in order to bake a light map. You can check the video, it's gonna pop up in the corner and you will find it in the description box as well. But since our sphere that's supposed to be our player is not marked as static, because it is a dynamic object that's gonna be moving all around our scene, it's not being affected by light. Because you know, we bake the light map and lighting now is calculated only in static objects. So in this video I will explain for you guys everything about light probe group that's gonna allow us to change the lighting on our player even if it's not marked as static and it's super easy to do so just stay with me. If we didn't meet yet my name is Willit from Spectra Games and I'm an indie games developer. Just make sure you smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm because it really means a lot to me guys and this is the best way to help me. And also subscribe to my channel for more content about games development. Without further ado, let's dive in. So this is the scene we are gonna be working on in today's video guys. As you can see with me, it is the same scene as in the last video in which I explained everything about lighting settings in order to bake a light map. The only difference is that I took the ground right here and I divided it per two portions. The first half has a blue color material and the second half has a red color material. And when I bake, a, bake the light map, this was my result. As you can see with me, this is my light map and this is was the result. So I got some shadows here and here as you can see with me in this half. I got also some ambient occlusions in the corner right here as you can see they are pretty obvious and there's also some bounce lights in here some blue bounce lights in and some red bounce lights in here and here also as well but if we come back here to our, our player as you can see there's no bounce lights in in it why because we didn't bake a light map on it and it is not static it is it should be moving and also if i took it here for example i grab it here to our shadow the shadow is not affected on it also so we should solve this problem and we are gonna do it right now so i'm just gonna create here from lighting a light probe group then i'm just gonna reset its position and raise it a little bit on the ground as you can see with me Now I'm gonna click here on edit so we can edit our light probe group and while I'm positioning those little spheres there I'm gonna explain to you how it works. So when we finish editing our light probe group we are gonna bake a light map and then everyone from those little spheres gonna store the properties of light in its exact position. When we finish baking our light map after the sphere or any dynamic object will start showing the same light and properties as in the nearest four light probe spheres. So we should position those light probe group spheres in every point where there is a change of light as I'm doing here. You just click Ctrl plus D to duplicate and then position them outside the edge of shadows and inside the edge also. There is a change of light in properties also in the points between the blue ground and the red one. I hope you understand all of this, if you don't just leave me a comment on the video and I will answer it as soon as possible. So here now we finished positioning all our light probe group spheres in our scene as you can see with me, everything in its exact position. If you are having any problems you better check the last video if you didn't because it's talking all about our lighting settings and everything so it is necessary in this video, sorry. So what we are gonna do now is that we are gonna come here to our lighting, we are gonna clear our lighting map properties just like this, clear bake data 
and we are gonna generate another ones so the lice pro group take the properties of lysine in their positions just like this so i'm just gonna pause the video right now and i'm gonna come to you after the lice map finished bacon so here we finished baking our lice map guys as you can see with me so there's some bounce lights in here some other bounce lights in here red one some ambience occlusion and shadows as we seen before but most important is our player if we come here to our player and click it you see here it is not a static object it is a dynamic one so it could be moving and it is affected by those light probe groups if we come here and see closely you can see some bounce lighting red bounce lighting here on it and if we drag our ball to this position from this red area to this blue area you are gonna see a change of light see this is it now there's some blue bounce lighting and if we come here and drag it to our shadows you are gonna see that the shadows are starting affected on the ball because of our light probe group this is it see now the shadows are affecting on it it is so clear i hope that this video is good for you guys so this is the end of this video guys i hope that it was helpful for you if you made it till the end i appreciate you so much give this video a thumbs up if you like it smash subscribe and hit the notifications bell because i drop two cool videos every single week and you don't want to miss them see you in the next one